In this video, I'll provide an overview of the Analog Output Generator app from Data Acquisition Toolbox. Before I output data, I'd like to have some data to output. So I've prepared this script that will generate some timing data, a frequency sweep that sweeps from 0 hertz to 50 hertz, and a timetable that contains that frequency sweep and that timing data. So here I've got that data both as a numeric variable in Y and as a timetable in data. I can open the Analog Output Generator app from the Apps tab. This app supports analog voltage and current output from data acquisition devices, as well as audio output from audio devices. Some analog output boards don't support clocked output, but you can still test them using a DC output. For this DAC board that I have, the USB 6218, I'll test it using a 10 hertz sign signal. This has two analog output channels, and I'll use both of them. And I'll differentiate them by applying different amplitudes to their signals. Let's generate this test signal. And I can see on the screen of my oscilloscope that I'm getting the outputs that I expected, a 20 volt peak to peak wave and a 10 volt peak to peak wave. Back in MATLAB, I can stop generating the signal. And since I've confirmed that the hardware is working as I expected, I can actually output the, de the data that I'm interested in. So from workspace variables, I have my frequency sweep in both a numeric array in Y and a timetable in data. Let's try looking at it in a numeric array. Since this numeric data doesn't have any timing information associated with it, the app by default is Look, planning to output it at the maximum sampling rate of 250 kilohertz. If it does this, this entire cycle would take 0.2 seconds. But I can control this rate. So at 25 kilohertz, it would take 2 seconds. Or I can specify the duration. Say I want it to take 10 seconds. And it updates the sampling rate to 5 kilohertz. I can also run a specified number of cycles. Say I want to run this twice. And we can see the preview update. And the total duration for this would now be 20 seconds. However, if my data has timing information associated with it, as with the timetable data, the app is able to determine from that timing information that the sampling rate should be 10 kilohertz and that this data should take 5 seconds to play. And at 2 cycles, that would take 10 seconds. Let's see how this works. Uh, to differentiate the signals, once again, I'll change the scale of one of the channels. So now I have one uh, with a 5 volt amplitude and one with a 1 volt amplitude. Generating the signal, I can see on my scope that we have two different uh, sinusoidal waves starting at low frequency and moving up to a higher frequency. And it runs through that twice before it ends. Back in MATLAB, we see the generation is complete. Now I can also generate a script for this in case I want to run this again in the future with the same configuration. This script provides the equivalent MATLAB code to run the same analog output task. We create the session, specify the sample rate, set up the channels and the data, and then start foreground on the session to play the analog output. In addition to foreground operations, this app also allows you to use background or continuous operations. If I select the continuous checkbox, the total duration will be infinite or as long as I want until I stop generating. So if I play this now, on my oscilloscope, we see that same frequency sweep from low to high frequencies, and it repeats over and over uh, until I decide to stop it. Back in MATLAB, we can see that this is generating the signal, and we get an elapsed time. If I generate the script, we now have the equivalent code for doing background continuous operations. We see there's a is continuous true option. And we see that this data is queued, and we have a listener that every time data is required, it'll queue additional output data. So that means once the script gets to the start background line, it'll run it in the background and go eternally until the stop command is issued. Right now in here, we have pause as a placeholder for any other code that you might want to run in between starting and stopping. So the reason this is background is because it frees up the MATLAB execution thread for you to run other MATLAB commands 
In this example, it's using pause, but you could have other analysis, visualization, processing, or other tasks that you want to perform until you decide that you want to end your analog output generation. So this was an overview of how you can use the analog output generator app in data acquisition toolbox to test your analog output with a test signal and to output data in both numeric and timetable forms. And once you've set up your analog output as you desire, you can then generate the equivalent MATLAB code so you can run it again the same way in the future. Thank you.